Basically, outside the NFL, I don't think it's as easy for any form of entertainment as it used to be. You know, there's more challenges and, and more things going on in the world, more ways to, to watch uh, and follow other sports. So, you know, I do think that, that things are going in a positive direction. You know, if you look at you know, our TV numbers were up overall last year, you know, attendance is, you know, Holding steady or getting better, you know, it's not it's not declining. I think that's that's really the biggest thing as IndyCar moves forward. If we can find a way to get more of our races broadcast on network. Been nine different winners in ten races. Every Chevrolet team has won a race now, and two Honda teams have won races. So there's only there's only like two or three teams in the paddock that haven't won a race, and we're only halfway through. So what do you know? So, so, so to me, to me, it's the level of parity in IndyCar is is way higher than than in NASCAR. You know, with more open regulations at the same time. You know, I mean, right now you got Marco Andretti, Graham Rahal, Elio Castroneves has has good name recognition from you know his career on the track and off the track. Um, you know, Dario was up there and retired. You know, but they're probably the big three. Anybody that wins a five, Juan Pablo. Yeah, that's a big one. Juan Pablo is, you know, worldwide probably has the most name recognition in the United States. Maybe not as much, but you know, I think it'd be nice if, if you say that number is five, realistically, if you went out into the poll. You know, if you could get that closer to ten, it would be ideal. Ready, go. So when you get when you get that drop off, you know, it's, it, that ends up creating a lot of passing because some people are going to fall off earlier or later. You know, some guys just don't fall off as much and so you kind of get the field cycling through. You know, at the end of last race, guys took tires, so you have people coming and going, so to speak. Um, I think that's the biggest thing that, that the series can do to try to make sure there's passing everywhere is to, you know, Firestone makes great tires. Sometimes they make them too great because they're just so fast and so consistent that it makes it hard to pass in a, in a track that's single group. But when you when you get that tire degradation and they build that into the, the, the tire, you know, I think it makes for better racing and more challenging racing. Uh, I don't I don't really like questions like that because it's you know, I don't, I don't know that there's just one thing that needs to be done, or is there... So you wouldn't give yourself a raise, or the better engine, or better tires, just to uh, ensure that you'd never lose? I mean, there might be, there might be a couple personnel changes I would make <laughs> for, in a leadership standpoint, but that's about it.